This is the New York Living Health and Fitness Report. On top of schoolwork and their social circle, it's probably one of the biggest concerns for most teenagers, their skin. New York Wads Health reporter Kafi Dressel has some tips on how to keep your skin clear. Just like the SATs, acne outbreaks almost seem like one of those inevitable things that comes with being a teenager. See, sometimes when I wake up in the morning and I see, like, you know, big acne pimples or, you know, zits on my face, I go, oh my God, you know, I'm not, like, one of crazy people about it, but, you know, I don't like them. So I did everything, like, I bought every single thing you could do in the, in the grocery store and doing read. I did the proactive, and it just didn't work. I really thought it was going to work, especially when Jessica Simpson was on there. I was like, that's for me, but it just not. No, it didn't. If acne doesn't seem to be going away, dermatologists say it's best to seek out their services. And amid fears around treatments like Accutane, now they're highlighting newer treatments they say seem to work quicker, are gentler, and have longer-lasting impact. One of those includes newer, less harsh antibiotics like Solodine, a derivative of minocycline. What's exciting about Solodyne is that in a once-a-day antibiotic and even in a lower dose once-a-day antibiotic, you're getting the same efficacy, the same effects, the same great result, or even better than in an antibiotic that before you'd have to take two pills a day. Dermatologists are also moving toward using more light sources. The combination laser suction isolates is one popular device. The suction brings blackheads to the skin's surface, decreases inflammation and acne bacteria. And it may look like something out of a sci-fi film, but doctors say something called light-emitting diode therapy is also having a better and more long-term effect on patients. The red light, blue light treatment also kills acne-forming bacteria and reduces chances of scarring. We now have these more safe, effective treatments that don't require remembering to take pills or put creams on two or three times a day. So these are major advances both in terms of treatment programs as well as clinical efficacy in making adolescents feel much better about themselves and not having to concentrate on more involved treatment regimens. Something for teens and all acne sufferers to keep in mind is that it might not always be one treatment that works. Sometimes it requires a combination. Doctors say while not everyone responds to one particular treatment regimen, with the latest advances, there should be options that can work for almost everyone. For Cunningham, it was ultimately the once-a-day antibiotic that worked for her. I've been on it for a couple months, and the difference is right now I don't have any face makeup on, which I never would have done I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even go to a grocery store without makeup on. So, I mean, really big difference. In Manhattan, Kofi Drexel, New York One.